learn how to solve sudoku problem have you heard of it before have you seen sudoku puzzle in the newspaper and wonder what it is and how to solve it so let's first understand what to the sudoku problem in a standard sudoku problem numbers 1 to 9 must go in a every cell rows column in the 9 by 9 grid sounds difficult isn't it how do we solve difficult problems we break them down in the smaller problem so they become easy to solve so let us first learn how to solve a 4 by 4 sudoku problem so in a 4 by 4 sudoku problem as shown here numbers 1 2 3 and 4 goes in a every cell each row column and mini grid must contain these numbers exactly 1 to 9 4 still sound difficult let's sound break it down in a smaller problem let's start 1 Two four cell grid at a time. Look at here. Orange grid solves at the left hand side top grid. Number three is already present in a number first grid. Now one, two, and four is remaining. Now what numbers should I try next? Next try one, as it is not in a grid. and should be placed in the empty square where should i put it can i put it in the column of right of 3 no do you know why right this column already has number 1 so can i put it in the row below 3 yes because in this mini grid This is the only place to possible put number one. What number should I try next? Let's take two. Where can be we place two? Can we do place on the top? No. Why not? Because two is already present in the top row. So I have to put these two. Is near to one it can be only be placed in the position of red square block now there is only one place left and we have only one number 4 so let's put it 4 in the empty place so this grid complete what do we know next we need to solve different square grid now let's take another mini grid should we take the one on the top right corner number 2 is already present so what number should we try next now take one and see where we can put that one can you see that only one place possible for number 1 in this grid which is shown in red why so because second row already contain number 1 what number should be try next 2 is already present so that's why number 3 now where we have to place this three number 3 can be put in any of the cell in the red why because both places have empty so tentatively we can put 3 in the both square block now let's try 4 is it possible to put 4 in the right hand side blue color column no why not because 4 is already present in that row therefore only place as possible for 4 is shown in a red so 
let's clear tentative marks of 3 and put 4 that's it now grade completed and this mini grade also be complete now what do we do next right now let's take next mini grade and try to solve of the same way let's take bottom left mini grid number one is already present shall we try number two number two can be put in the both the cell put represent in the red let's mark tentative two as we did before for number three let's now try three where can we put three three can only be put in the cell shown in red why so again because three is already present in the blue so let's try to put four now four is only possible on top left square because in the last row four is already present so it represents red square now our tentative two also got the place at the right left side of the last row now this grid also complete now let's take remaining mini grid it is the bottom right corner this is become exciting if we try one it is already present in the bottom row and the rightmost column so in blue so only one place possible for one it represent red now next step two two is already present in the row and column shown in the blue so only one possible place that is looking for red now put two now remaining number three and we have only one square when put three now solve this one mini grid also now it completed four by four mini grids now how to solve sudoku you can know and you can do the worksheet also for this sudoku thank you let's learn how to solve sudoku problem